Right, in this video, how to top up your car's aircon system. Now, I particularly, I tend to use by the bigger bottle of aircon refill, and I tend to go for the one in Hulkridge now that we sell for £49. Pounds. 59 if you're first, first buying it, if you're taking back a refill, they give you it for £49. Pounds. So, aircon max, engine been running a little while. So anyway, I have bought this one meter long connector and I find them to be the best. Now what you'll need to do is just to prep your your aircon uh, refilling charger kit. Do you see where I've got some white tape here? That's PTFE tape. Just wind a few winds clockwise going in of PTFE tape. You get them at a plumber's store, they're really cheap. And just, just that just prevents the leaks. Just before you wind the bottle on, okay? Before you wind the bottle on, on something like this, turn this valve anti-clockwise. Uh, so it's all ready. The car's been running a little while, and uh, you just need to locate your low pressure port. All right, okay, on my valve here, it says the blue one's what I'm going for, because I'm filling up with R134 Alpha on this Ford Focus. Uh, and uh, obviously it's reading zero at the moment, and we're looking for somewhere in the blue. That's all we are. You can kind of weigh it out, and you know, if it was completely empty, weigh in uh, the exact amount. But if you're just topping up, they buy these kits for top ups. Uh, you'll find that as soon as I connect this gauge onto the low port, which I'll tell you where it is on this part in a minute, it'll kind of zoom up a little bit. It'll probably be, it's not completely off because how do you know you're just topping up when you look down at your compressor? The compressor's down there. Hopefully you should be able to see it. It's just spinning. Way down there. Down there, probably where I'm pointing at. So you know it's on, it's just kind of low and it's not out on it's not. If it was completely out of the fridge, what you'll find is it just won't be spinning. Probably won't be spinning. Alright, okay, so I've located my port on this forward focus. It is way deep in there. I'll show you what it is. Got my finger pointing to it, look at it. There it is, that one there. Okay. So if you've used this previously, you'll find that in, in there is already sealed in there some gas. So don't worry about that. If it's the first time you're using your hose, then you'll have to kind of realise there's air in there and you'll have to just back out a little bit of just pressurise it and then and then get rid of some of it from here.
one way of telling if you're doing it right is obviously feeling inside the car and checking the pressure gauge if you find that in the car it is um, not really that cold sometimes what I find it really helps is if you if you look at a low pressure valve and somehow you imagine there's air in there just make sure that air is uh, slightly extracted for maybe a second and then you'll find that you know, as soon as the air goes repeat the procedure and it'll work much better and that's it really quite cold now uh, I would say when you're filling these things up and you haven't got, you haven't actually weighed out how much you should put in and you haven't done it absolutely professionally I would say less is more I would say rather get on the course of putting not as much in you know put in as much as you need and a little tiny bit more but not too much because you don't know how that compressor is going to deal with too much fluid so remember and I, and I just had a little thought as well because the, the, the uh, shape of this bottle is very very obviously very tall compared very wide so after a while as I was tipping it I knew that you know obviously the liquid was going down 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 instead of having it vertical as I wound it in I had it kind of a slant so it gave it just a little bit more chance to get the the vapors and not just pure compressed air if you know what I mean so the vapors had a chance to getting up into the, the car and that's really worked so when you're doing this you'll find hang on it's not working it's not working make sure your aircon's turn the max mine was turned up I did have it on the max and then I left it on the 18 for for about a few minutes so 18 degrees and that's not going to help is it even though the aircon pump is still on the thing is sometimes it doesn't work okay you think oh it's not working it's still warm remember what i said about that little trick the little trick is that you've got air trapped in that low pressure port just let some of that air go you know you're not venting you're not doing anything illegal because you're not venting uh you're not venting gas in the air you're not venting vapors you know it's vapors because you know it's air because it's just it's just see-through you can't see it it's just compressed air all right anyway thanks for watching hope this helps and uh good luck with it and just imagine just imagine as well if your car was leaking like most people's cars are leaking aircon fluid out the air pump uh, the aircon pump it's going to be leaking all the time so come on you, you you're doing this to fix your car you're doing this so uh, you're not deliberately venting anything in the atmosphere you're doing it to help yourself anyway thanks for watching uh, and it's freezing cold in here now uh, we've got 14 degrees today and this is really icing things up anyway thanks for watching See you soon.